Welcome to Sunday service, everyone. Ego is your fake publicist. For me, ego is identity. Like throughout our life, we created this identity of ourselves, just like the publicist created an identity of the celebrity. Uh, the celebrity is like this, this, this is his personality, and this is how he is, blah, blah, blah. All the best things, right? The perfect version of that person that you portray to the public. So throughout my life, I created the perfect version of Sun that I want the world to know. And once I create that identity of myself, like my ego is fighting to live up to that identity. So I have this mask on, which is my identity, and then I have to live up to it. That ego is not always about success and things like that. And here's the danger, right? It's the reason why those teenagers in Europe are going around <laughs> throwing tomato soup on paintings and blocking traffic in the name of saving the environment. What happens is when you get so caught up in that identity of like, I care so much about the environment, I blah, 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 the climate and all of that, what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna do wrong things and just it because oh, I'm doing it for the environment. Don't be a hero. Be a nobody when you're writing the story and that you want to have it a journey to the hero. But when you're actually writing the story, we have to constantly remind ourselves. Yeah, I'm a nobody. I'm a nobody. Okay, now let me write the story. And then let's see where that the hero arc comes from. The more vague it is, the more you say, oh, I have an imposter syndrome. Oh, like, I feel like I'm not good enough, mom. That's cliche. Everyone says that shit. It's safe. It's vague. It's not vulnerable. But then the more specific you make it, oh, I'm a yogi who smokes. Oh, I've been having, I have had an affair with my husband. That makes it original, vulnerable, and it's more specific. Therefore, it's more vulnerable and it's original. And wherever your comfort zone is, our goal at Night Owl Nation is to keep sharing story, being more specific, being more vulnerable. Over time, hopefully, your comfort zone will move more towards the specific, more original. If you don't have a character flaw, then the story is not going to be vulnerable. If you look at this, map like we all start out as a victim until you have that moment right the, the inciting incident the story and then from that point on you have a choice to make you can either take responsibility and fix it and become a hero or you can do nothing about it which will lead you down to becoming a villain now if you stay the victim that's when it becomes a sob story and sob story sounds like a complaint there are two types of sob story. Kind of sob story where it sounds like, oh, that, it's not my fault. And the second type of sob story sounds like, I don't care. If you can't find that story arc from going from, oh, here's my character flaw, here's me doing something wrong, and then realizing I did something wrong, and then having a transformation, inner transformation where I learned something and I changed, that means you might still be stuck in the story of trauma. If you're telling a story like that, like that, that person that was like, oh, I didn't care, blah, 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 blah. To me, it kind of sounds like she's still in trauma. So your weekly exercise is going to be to share a vulnerable story in your small group and then get and give feedback on it. And then for bonus exercise for this week, if there's somebody in your life that you didn't forgive, forgive them now. Like, don't go up to them and say, I forgive you, but just, you know, forgive them in your heart. Next, go to your small group meeting, even if you don't have time, even if you don't do anything else. I'll see you all next week. Have a great, great week. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye, Katarina. Have a good week. Bye, Basil. Bye, Laura. Bye. Bye. Bye.